Good morning, folks. Climate change on both extremes is taking center stage, most recently with the Arctic ice melt. I've described how this allows the sun to heat us up even more, but another concern is methane. There's a ton of it under the ice, and googling methane along with the word extinction can keep you busy for days. The official Climate Prediction Center is calling for a warm start to winter this year. Not entirely sure I trust their predictions, but nonetheless it's good to read and I'll link both the NOAA and IRI forecasts and archives below. 10 points to the UK for fighting oil companies, 20 points to France for fighting Monsanto's GM food, but for 50 points in the win, good Coronal Cavities article here. Folks, these are the things that people call UFOs sucking up the sun or deflecting CMEs. Their form is electromagnetically produced, forcing coronal particles out of the area, which means you also would expect it to have affected the charged particles in a CME. Article wrap-up, Chinese volcano showing increasing activity. I usually let Hyper Report take care of this topic, but this affects my real job, and the Fed keeping low rates pushes people out of savings and into riskier assets. And the remnants of a killer storm leaving Paraguay, but not before ruining hundreds of lives. This morning, a 4.9 struck the Mediterranean Sea. It ringed as high as 5.4 on multiple charts. Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands keep shaking at low levels. There was a reactor shutdown at Three Mile Island. Earthquakes are continuing near Iceland, and very severe weather struck the United Arab Emirates. Speaking of which, China now leads the world in weather modification. They do not keep it secret whatsoever, neither do other countries. Neither does the United States, though. Our government just speaks so softly that... You can't hear them behind the people screaming that they're trying to kill you. <laughs> Believe that if you want to. We have a new tropical storm brewing where we don't need it. Western Pacific gaining strength fast. It is almost unthinkable for another super typhoon to develop and head north, but we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Earth footprint is clear, not grainy. That's an earth side connection, not on the back. Looking at the full connectivity on the right side, only two connections remain on the back side, leaving eight connected to the front. Primarily down here where a flare could have heightened effects on the Earth, and we have been expecting flares with heliocentric conjunctions and getting them. Luckily not at Earth though, which is off to the right here on Stereo B. The eruption on the left headed away from Earth with a massive CME yesterday. Might have been an X flare. Coronal hole stream is dying down. You see the yellow solar wind speed coming off of the 600 kilometers per second high. No Earthside eruptions, as I said, but that dark coronal hole turning away to the right still needs to give us her strong solar wind stream. And the massive filament to the left of that along the equator stayed put yesterday. Let's hope for the same today. It's almost 6 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.